So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to pick up stitches in order to make a neckband. So we've got our neckband just here. I've made a little kind of a smaller version for us to work from today. And we're going to be picking up along these two curved edges. So with your neckband, you usually have your curved edges for either side of the neck, and then you'll usually have a specific amount of stitches in the center. That's your center neck. So when picking up a neckband, you'll pick up firstly down the neck, You'll then knit across your stitches you've left in a holder and then go back up the neck. So usually when we're starting we start at the left shoulder seam. So I'm going to start here and we're going to pick up the stitches going down. So when picking up a neckband I usually like to start about one stitch in from the edge. So starting here. And doing this we're always working from the right side of our work as we're going. So I'm on the right side, I'm working one stitch in from my left shoulder seam, I've got my needle just here. So what I'm going to do is one stitch in, I'm just going to pop my needle through. Then I'm going to get my yarn, so for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use a nice contrasting colour so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to start about 20 centimetres in, so I've got a nice end to sew in, and I'm just going to place this yarn over my needle. And then slip my work off. So while holding my new yarn quite taut, I'm just going to pull the neckband off the needle, creating my first stitch. So now I'm going to carry on down the neckband, creating the rest of my stitches. So I'm going to go into the next hole right here. So just make sure you're going one stitch in for each one, putting my needle through, then getting my yarn, wrapping it around the needle and again while holding it they're quite taut here pulling the work off the needle and creating my second stitch go again going one stitch in putting the needle through the work yarn around the needle and pulling off and you can see we're creating a little seam here which would be nice and hidden at the back of the work because we're doing it from the right side so now we're going to carry on working down, so I'm putting my needle through the work, yarn around the needle, pulling the work off, needle through the work, yarn around the needle, pulling the work off, and you'll just repeat this all the way down. We go so you can see I've got two four six eight stitches now on my needle and we're working down the neck band so I've worked 12 stitches in total down the first half of my neckband, as you can see. Now in your pattern, it'll say to work a specific number of stitches down the neckband. You may find that this is less stitches than there are actually rows, and that's because if we did it for the same stitch as row count, you'd find that your neckband would be too bulky. So in some areas, you may end up just missing a row, but then once we've knit this back, it'll become nice and neat. So now I am at my holder, with my center stitches. So I now want to knit across these stitches. So I'm just going to open my holder and grab my other needle. And the first thing I'm going to do is simply slip these stitches back into work. Now our stitches are back into work on my other needle, I'm just going to knit across them. Now they're done, I can take my other needle and pop that down again. And just working with the one needle again, I'm going to work back up the next half of the neckline. So rather than working down it, we're now working up it. So I'm going to work into the row above where I am, going one stitch in, 
the yarn around the needle, pulling it taut and just pulling the work back off the needle. Now into a next stitch, yarn around the work, pulling it off and working like this all the way up. So I always make sure you're always going from the same stitch inwards, even if you have got decreases as you're going up, make sure it looks nice and neat. As you can see, I am missing a row every now and then just to make sure I've got the right amount of stitches at the end. So on my last two now, 11 and 12. And it'll look a little bit funny because all your curve is now on your one needle. But once you've worked a few rows up and cast off, you should have a nice clean neckband. And now you can see here, I have finished our neckband. So for this one, I've just worked a couple of rows just knitting, so working in garter stitch, just so you can see it nice and clearly. And you can see where our picked up stitches are and how that has worked up to create our final neckband.